All right, everybody, welcome. Babad Rasim Brown, Fantasy Managers. Congratulations, you get to start him today. He is active. Isaiah McKenzie is inactive. Alvin Kamara is active. We're going to talk all about it right now as we watch a little London football, 20 to 13, Packers with the lead. Although, you know me, I'm like two minutes behind, so it might, might be a different score right now. I'm Adam Azer with Chris Towers and Frank Stample, three guys who went to Comic-Con this week. How no, I didn't go. Oh, what? I thought you were no, Chris, I, I Chris, was asking you to get me passes. I didn't have, I, I'm, I didn't, I have um, in-laws in town. Oh, okay. You I actually, actually, I went to the Jackie Robinson Museum, which just opened in Manhattan. Really excellent time. You guys should oh, go there. Cool. That sounds Chris, great. Chris, you are built for Comic-Con. Like, it is just Chris Tower. I'm sure I would have a great time, yeah. Well, you would. You would. <laughs> All right, guys, let's have a good time talking about fantasy football, answering your questions here. We welcome you to the show. Please hit the like button. We'll talk about the YouTube poll in a moment. It's a good one, but let's answer some questions. Well, actually, why don't we go through the headlines here? So, Chris, Amonra St. Brown, easy call here, or are there some guys you might actually start over him? What do you think about Amonra? Oh, I don't know if and it's an easy call, but I think he is in the if he's active, you play him range at this point. I think he's earned that. What is it? Nine straight games with at least six catches, nine straight games with at least nine targets. I think his his most recent game when he was dealing with the ankle injury was the first time he didn't have 10 targets since like week 12 of last season. So, yeah, I think Amon Ross St. Brown is is in that range where you just you give him the benefit of the doubt, even if he might be limited. Is he a top 20 guy for you? Yes. Okay. Frank, Josh Reynolds is someone that I'm now taking out of some lineups here. I, I benched Reynolds for Juju Smith-Schuster, even though Smith-Schuster is questionable. He's expected to play. Uh, that's probably an easy call. But what about uh, another decision I have and, you know, just put the range for Josh Reynolds here? Because he, he had a good game two weeks ago when Amonra St. Brown played. Granted, St. Brown was playing hurt for much of that game. But Marcos Valdez-Scantling, now to side between Reynolds and Valdez-Scantling. So what do you think about Josh Reynolds this week? And you know, you know me at MVS, but I've actually reduced my MVS shares. I have. <laughs> but I, this is Scott Fishbowl, so he has to be rostered there. Um, but what do you think about Reynolds? Still any value here for Josh Reynolds? I don't love it. There, it's not a huge total in this game. I expect Amonra to be the main target. TJ Hawkinson will still get his work. And obviously, Jamal Williams thrusting his way into the end zone, I'm sure will uh, get a lot of targets and reception um, and carries once again. So Josh Reynolds not really feeling it. If you have to go between him and MVS, I guess we're going MVS, Adam. Hey, hey, right MVS, so let's do it. I have a clear conscience now. You cannot make fun of me for starting MVS because you told me to do it. Uh, Alvin Kamara is in. Is Alvin Kamara a top 12 running back for you guys? He's he is right for at, me. Right at 12 for me, yep. Okay. He's uh, number six for me. Mm. Nice. James he Rock had 15 carries and seven targets the most recent game that he played. That was dealing with the rib injury. So I just – I I don't know. It feels like people have given up on him, and I, I don't really get it. I don't okay. think we've seen him healthy yet. So Well, yeah. I don't know if people – people might think he's just not healthy now. Uh, but he's playing, so let's go. And Isaiah McKenzie is out, so I'm sure we'll get some Gabe Davis questions, and we'll answer along the way. Oh, Jarvis Landry's inactive. Really? What's going on with the Saints? Hmm. They keep having these guys, like, this was like, like Jarvis Landry's been on the injury report for like three straight weeks. He's played through this injury, and all of a sudden he's not playing. All right, Chris, if someone starts Jarvis Landry this week, they're on. No. The, they're in Hawaii. <laughs> no, that, that oh. one... <laughs> One, you shouldn't be starting Jarvis Landry anyway. Correct. Uh, and two, yeah. no, it's new. You know, All right, Trevor Lawrence or Derek Carr, guys, and hit that like button. I agree, Kyle. Like your hair too. I have Derek Carr a few spots higher than Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, great game environment, likely to be playing from behind, chasing points. I'll go with Derek Carr. I have Derek Carr one spot ahead of Trevor Lawrence. Choose two in standard scoring. Here's a Gabe Davis question. I'm going to put the Gabe Davis meter on right now. We'll see. This is one. This is going to be tough to track. Gabe Davis, Pierce, Godwin, and Dobbins. It's standard scoring. Who, who are we going with here? I'm going to go with Pierce and Dobbins. I think it's really close between Dobbins and Godwin, but I'll lean with the running back with the standard scoring. I don't have it ranked this way, but I have a really good feeling about Gabe Davis. I, I think it's going to happen. Well, McKenzie, no Dawson Knox. Uh, I think it kind of helps Singletary, guys. Um, if it doesn't happen now for Gabe Davis, I, I look, they're likely to be playing with a lead. They're like 14-point favorites. I get that. But with all these targets down, like Gabe Davis has to do something. I, so the thing for me with Gabe Davis is 
he's probably what's the right way to put this? Go Mike ahead, Williams, oh. I think is the the way I would put it. Like, I don't know if I want to say a less talented Mike Williams because I don't want people to yell at me. I know there are some real Gabe Davis truthers and some real Mike Williams haters, but like I think that's the type of player you're talking about where it's it's never going to be a high target. I mean, it might be a high target share some weeks, including maybe this week, but he's going to be a downfield guy. He's going to be a, a specialist, and I, and I think that's going to lead to relatively low target shares. Like, I, I think what we're seeing is kind of what he is. Well, you know, so the, Steelers, the Steelers are a team that give up a lot of big plays, a lot of big plays with big air yards. I've talked about that all week. Um, there is no McKenzie. There is no Knox. Mm-hmm. Should maybe give him two more targets today. I don't know. But then again, there could be fewer pass attempts. So, I, yeah, I, I mean, I standard scoring. No, I mean, I would start. I would definitely start Uh-oh. Godwin. I forgot what you said. I would go Pierce and Godwin here probably. Adam, you're going to see this in about 12 minutes, but Saquon Barkley just limped off the field. Yeah. Rock on. Um, that's wow. Okay. It, uh, oh, yeah. It landed on his shoulder. looks like. Yeah. Great. It's a little, little worrisome. DJ Moore, Zay Jones, or Brandon Ayuk, who are we starting? I'm going with DJ Moore. I have that's, <laughs> that's all in the same range. It's like not top 36 wide receivers. It's like in yep. the 40 to 48 range, but I would still go with DJ Moore. All right. I do have DJ Moore as a top 30 wide receiver. Against the Niners. Uh you can, you know, you can pass a little bit on the Niners. You can't run on them. Um Zay Jones, I guess, would be my I just terrified of the Panthers this week, their last week with Matt Rule. Uh, Thielen or Gallup? I'll take Thielen there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I, let's, we, we need I to- do think we might be getting a little ahead of ourselves with like the 49ers are the best defense in the NFL thing. Cause they, the best quarterback they've faced so far this season is Russell. I mean, Wilson, Matthew it Stafford. might be Geno Smith. Yeah, but they faced Russell Wilson and Matthew Stafford and made those guys look pretty bad. Right, those guys have looked pretty bad against pretty much everyone. That that's not true with Stafford. You know he was Stafford, good against the Cardinals. Yes, and, he, and he, he had the one game as well. Yeah. Um. No, no, he was good in week two. Forget who he played. He had two interceptions. Yeah, but he had three week touchdowns. Two? Oh. Yeah, didn't you? Um. Uh, you, you might be right. All right, let's pick three upside plays here: Kamara, Mixon, Fournette, James Robinson. Who are we sitting? So I usually play worse players when I'm projected to win. Um, so, uh, no, it's uh, I'm sitting Robinson. I have Kamara ranked the lowest, so I would sit him. I would too, you know, and like the cop out, I guess, because it's a tough one. And it's like, if I'm going to tell people to sit Kamara, I have to find a reason for it is he does lose goal line work to Ingram. He does lose goal line work to Taysom Hill. And I just don't know if he's 100% healthy. You know, the, the rib thing is, is he said he said he can't do anything about it. So, That's fair. you know, so uh, anyway, I, most weeks I would not start James Robinson over him, but it is uh, it is Houston. OK, we've got one in half PPR. Jacobs, Damian Harris, Jay Willie. Jamal Williams. Oh, Jamal really? Williams. Okay. Is Jay Willie? I didn't or realize we've gotten to the point where we have nicknames for Jamal Williams. <laughs> He's that good now. Um, I have Josh Jacobs ranked high of, of this group. I would go with Jamal Williams. Okay. Um, would I? Would you play? Oh, this is a go. I can't believe I didn't get to this one. Uh, would you play a Chicago running back or Rashad Penny or Devontae Smith in standard scoring? What are we doing here with David Montgomery playing today? Okay, I do have Rashad Penny ranked higher than the Bears running backs. I'm just checking the Devontae Smith part of it. Yeah, I would take Devontae Smith. Yeah. I have David Montgomery as a high-end flex. I think RB25 or RB26. He actually is a few spots higher than Rashad Penny for me. And then I have Khalil Herbert as a low-end uh, flex options, like RB34, RB35. So if I'm ranking all of them, I would go Devontae Smith, Montgomery, Penny, Khalil Her- Herbert. Okay, yeah, I've got Herbert and Montgomery back to back at thirty two and thirty three. Would you go with Damian Pierce or Mike Williams? Hmm. Oof. PPR makes it a lot closer, but I think I still lean with Pierce. The role it looks fantastic right now. Yeah, the one thing I'm struggling with Pierce was how much of the six targets out last season or last week was 
just like a fluke or was that, you know, them trying to get him going? He only had eight yards on the six targets. So I don't know if that's going to be a part of his role moving forward, but it was definitely very encouraging. Uh, I would go with Williams though. Higgins or Lamb PPR. Oh, that is a great question. They're both awesome. Uh, I have T Higgins one spot higher, but they're both in my I, 10, 11. I have Higgins a decent amount higher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, good options there, Frank. How is NFL Street not on that poll? Let's talk about that poll. YouTube poll. Great one from Thomas Schaefer. For, uh, favorite NFL video game of your childhood. Was it Blitz, NFL 2K, Tecmo Super Bowl, or Madden? I was an NFL 2K guy because I was a Dreamcast homer. Um, and even when they made the switch over to like, there's like NFL 2K5, I think, when they had like the ESPN integration. That was that that was really good. I think yeah, I'm, right, that one. I'm right there with you, Chris. I, I see 2K and I think of the Terrell Owens cover on the Eagles. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he <laughs> the Eagles. Yeah. I played that game so much. Yeah, so it would be 2K for me. But the real answer is probably NFL Street. So I, I appreciate whoever brought that up. I never even I heard of a, NFL Street. I played a lot of Blitz. NFL Street was Blitz, amazing. Yeah. Oh, my God. NFL I voted for Tecmo fun. Super Bowl. You guys might be. I mean, Madden is the runaway winner here, 46%. And, and I get it. Uh, Tecmo Super uh, Blitz was second, 28%. Tecmo Super Bowl, 21%. And you losers, NFL 2K is at 5%. Uh, so you guys, that's, see, that's like Madden over NFL 2K is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Matt, oh, come on, Madden. What about uh, game day? You guys ever play game day? NFL game day? I, I remember game day, yeah. Or all the time. We got I used to play game day, too. 2K, 2K5 was pretty sweet, though. And it was only like 20 bucks, if you guys remember that. Yep. It was only like twenty bucks compared to Madden's like sixty at the time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, maybe maybe it deserved more love. It was a bargain. I mean, we probably should have just thrown NCAA football up there as well. I, oh, in terms of hours, uh, in terms of hours spent, I think NCAA 07 was probably my most played football game. My my college roommate and I. I think you could do like a thirty year dynasty. I think you could play all the way through, and we definitely made it through at least one of those. <laughs> turning that fight you into a national power. Did you guys ever play backyard football? Oh, um, the backyard sports are great. Yeah. Never the football, football, but backyard baseball is a staple in the childhood. Jeez, I, where were these games? I played Mutant League football. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Uh, that was a weird one. It was like ghouls and goblins playing. Anyway, uh, Pierce or Wilson? Pierce or Jeff Wilson, PPR? Um, That's really, really close. Sure is. Let's see what we got. I have Pierce. Let's see. Where is he? I have Pierce four spots higher. I have Pierce two spots lower. Jaguars without starting defensive tackle Foley Fatukasi today, and that might have hurt their run defense last week when he left, but a little little edge there for Pierce. Um, all right, that's a tough one for sure. Let's start three. This guy with the Cheez-Its. Deontay Johnson, DJ Moore, Chris. It's just so random. Uh, Deontay Johnson, DJ Moore, Chris Godwin, Najee, blah, 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 blah. Wow. Who are three? Uh, Godwin, Harris, and I probably have Deontay ranked highest of this group, but I know I'm in the minority on that one. Wait, did you say Robinson? Definitely got to get James Robinson in there. Uh, I have Godwin and Harris both ranked higher than James Robinson. Najee over Robinson, huh? Yep. That's interesting. Start of the week. Last for me. Chris is a big process guy. There it's, were there were some troubling signs with James Robinson's usage last week. Um, yeah, they lost. They're going to win. He gets 20 touches when they win. We hope they're going to win. Yeah. They're going to win. They're, they're going to win the division. They're the Jaguars. Come on. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> All right, yeah. for me, it's Godwin, Robinson, and uh, oh, Dobbins. What would you say, Frank? I would go with Godwin, Robinson, and Ramondre. I have Ramondre and Damian Harris both inside my top 20 running backs. Okay. Uh, who has a better day today, Bailey Zappi or Kenny Pickett? Uh, let's <laughs> pick it, right? I pick it. I Probably pick it. I, I am starting Bailey Zappi in Scott Fishbowl. Nice. My starting quarterbacks in Scott Fishbowl, Bailey Zappi and Andy Dalton. Hey, I, I missed the waiver wire in that league. So stupid. I, I really could have. Hopefully got in Teddy Bridgewater, but yeah, now I'm starting Garoppolo. Anyway, yeah, that um, two, uh, Trey Lance combo looked uh, really good early Lance on. Really. Oh, yeah. damn. <laughs> so um, how much time is left in the Giants-Packers game? 
I see 12 minutes. All right. 1340. So I'm way behind. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's uh, let's Have you go. seen Daniel Jones' bloody hand yet? No, I haven't. I okay, just uh, you're, you're a little behind. It's pretty gross. What was his left hand? Damian Harris, J.K. Dobbins, or Mixon? Pick two. Uh, I believe I have Harris ranked higher than da- Dobbins this week. Same. Yeah, I, I would sit Dobbins of yep. those three. Lamb or Olave at flex? You hate to sit yeah. Olave, but you're starting Lamb. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I have Lamb inside my top 12, but Olave's like just behind that. Would you start Olave over Monra St. Brown? I would, yeah. I wouldn't. Okay. By the way, uh, Schneier had no idea what I was talking about, but <laughs> Oil of Olave, team name. You guys remember Oil of Olé or no? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oil of Olave. Love it. <laughs> that was familiar. It's a, that's like a body wash, right? Or I like think a, it's skin product. More shri- Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, get some fresh ones. Josh Palmer or Ezekiel Elliott? Also uh, I would go with Zeke. That's gross and boring. Yeah, I wish Palmer were, were definitively healthier. I don't know what to expect from him today, but Keenan Allen out. Palmer, you know, what was the stat I had? He had a t- 99 yards or a touchdown in all four games. He's played like 88% or more of the snaps in his career. Uh, Miles Sanders, Damian Pierce, Jamal Williams, and full PPR. Who are we going with? Oh, my. I, I think, think I'm I, sitting Pierce. I think I have them all ranked in a row. Now I have a Williams at 11. I have Pierce at 13. Sanders at 14. No, I so, can't believe I'm going Pierce. Jamal Williams. I mean, yeah, I'm going Jamal Williams up here. So I'm going Jamal Williams over, San, over Sanders. Really? Am I doing that over Miles Sanders? Sanders I, is tough, man, because like he still doesn't really catch passes. How much do we believe that they're just going to keep giving him goal line carries? He has like six carries inside of the 10 yard line or something. Last year, I think he had 11 total. I don't think he has many inside the five, though. That's the weird thing. Am I wrong? Uh, do they that? have many inside the five? Her- Hertz does. And I think Gainwell, I'll check for you now. I'll check. Uh, all right, go for it. Um, all right, let's move on here. Olave or Jeff Wilson? Half PPR. Uh, that is super close. <laughs> and normally I'll lean with the running back, so I'll go Jeff Wilson. I do I have a lot of it here. <laughs> in, my, in my flex rankings, I do have Wilson like two spots ahead total. Look at this. This is very funny. Ryan Castro is my brother <laughs> answering his question. Optional. Very good. All right. We, well, maybe we'll <laughs> skip him. Montgomery, Kareem Hunt, or Brandon Cooks? Who you got? Cooks. Oh, well, we need two cooks and um, oh, I'm, sorry. I'm going with Hunt over Montgomery. Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, Chris, you and I are on the same page with Montgomery. I think you got to kind of, to me, you got to hate your option to go with Montgomery. But you know, it's, as we've been doing this, you know, for years now, don't you kind of feel like if a, if a, a marquee player, I'm not going to say star player, but he's obviously one of their best, most important players, David Montgomery. If he plays, wouldn't you just expect him to have his normal workload? I, I don't. But I feel like historically, you would expect him. To, you know what I mean? Like I don't because I feel like Herbert's good enough, and it seemed like I, I don't know. But but what, you know, wouldn't you expect in a normal situation? Oh, he's gonna have his normal workload. Yeah, we just don't quite know what his normal workload is at this point because I think there is some expectation. You you might define it as hope among fantasy players that Khalil Herbert's going to cut into his role. We haven't really seen that when Montgomery's been healthy, but you know, I, I think given how good Cleo Herbert's looked and the fact that Montgomery may not be a hundred percent, I think you just, it's fair to assume maybe more like a 60, 40 split rather than the 75, 25 split. Okay. Yeah, I think even more than the injury <laughs> is just the situation for David Montgomery. He's it's also, on a, yeah. he's on a bad offense. He's doesn't throw the ball to the running backs. We've seen Khalil Herbert, not necessarily vulture touchdowns, but have these full drives where he's the one who winds up scoring and yeah. how much are the Bears actually going to score in general. So I think just the situation is a reason to to get away from him. But, you know, that has Montgomery in the flex conversation for me. Miles Sanders does have four touches inside of the five yard line. Jalen Hurts has five. I don't think anybody. Uh, Boston Scott has one. Touches or how many carries? Four. It, Sanders, Miles Sanders doesn't have any targets inside the five. Okay. 
Um, come on, they don't throw the ball to him. <laughs> Ryan Bass or or suck up. And I just is there bad weather? Is it windy in Buffalo? Is that what's going on here? Because somebody mentioned that earlier. I, I haven't seen anything anything bad weather related. Thankfully, fifteen mile per hour winds right now. Um. Try to get an app. I, you know, you can go suck up. I mean, if that's what you're worried about. Yeah. I mean, it's a dome game, right? So, yeah, and they might just score a lot of touchdowns in this game. So, um, like the Eagles kicker. I know he's not. There are actually a lot of kicker transactions because you got Chargers, Eagles, Chiefs, all with injured kickers. And um, actually, I lied. That Tampa Bay game is in Tampa Bay, so it's not a dome game. Uh, okay, it's probably good weather. Um, the uh, Murray or Trevor Lawrence, Kyler Murray or Trevor Lawrence. Also take Kyler. Yep. Yeah, me too. Uh, Carson Wentz or Geno Smith, Kareem Hunt or Jeff Wilson. I do have Carson Wentz ranked ahead. Um, and then I have Jeff Wilson ahead for sure. Same man. Let's, oh boy. Carson Wentz. Let's go. Carson Wentz over Stafford. for me. Oh, those Gary, things. Gary, Gary Brightwell. Is that hey, his name? come on, Chris. Spoiler alert. Come on. Don't that's not cool. Come on. You guys got to help me out here. I I'm mean, stuck. get better internet. I don't know what, like, I don't know what to say. I'm watching it on Fubo and it's like, it's, I'm ahead of both of you. I don't know. I don't know what the problem yeah. is here. Yeah. I'm on YouTube TV. It's get good. Guys. Going, all right. All right. I'll tell you when they score. JK Dobbins, <laughs> Jamal Williams, or Brees Hall. We need two here. Definitely Jamal uh, Williams. I'm sitting Dobbins. I Dob- really like Brees Hall's role last week. Touchdown. <laughs> Gary Brightwell. <laughs> are, uh, you guys rooting, are you guys rooting for the Giants, the scrappy underdog that just lost Saquon Barkley? Yeah. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Frank. Love an underdog story. I, I know it's the whole, like, they're not in the same conference, but as a Jet fan who's been, like, the younger brother my whole life, with cocky Giants fans, absolutely not. Cocky Giants we're not it's not even a rivalry like i'm not rooting against the mets they're not our rival i don't care sure Come on, frank you're better than that i so. mean it's you know there is a little brother big brother aspect to it it's like uh you know the the madman meme where he's like i i hate you i don't even think about you whatever it is there's a little bit of that too <laughs> certainly the yankees mets um uh, but you know the, on this game though, giants and jets it's like they're both such embarrassing franchises. Like the giants have their two world series or NFL championships. And like, that's great. But like, we have four, really... we have four, four. Okay. But like, you know, in your lifetime, but uh, like nobody, four really, in my life, nobody really counts those, you know, like everybody knows they were flukes. Which ones? The, the Eli ones. No, they were not flukes. Everyone knows they were like the 12th best team in the NFL. Both. Oh, seasons. no, 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 no. Uh, At you know, best. What? Another another topic for another day, but you know they they were ten and one, and the following year after. Adam, they- while I'm doing this, how about them Hurricanes? Deontay Johnson, Miles Sanders, J.K. Dobbins. You guys going with? I'm going with Miles Sanders. Um, I would also go Miles Sanders. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, Brand St. Brown, Cooks, Gabe Davis. Who are we sitting? Gabe oh. Davis. Yep, sitting Gabe Davis. Pickens or Gallup. I'll take Pickens there. I'll go Gallup. Yes, he is. Chris is a hater. Is that what it said? Yes. Ag- agreed. Parker or McKissick, standard scoring. It's a 16-team league. The problem is it's specifically just with the teams that Adam roots for, but not because Adam roots for them. The coincidence. It just happens to be that I've hated those teams my what whole life. The Giants? Why would you hate the Giants? Um, I don't know. That one might just be because of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> thanks. Um, Hunt, Parker, or McKissick? Oh, I didn't see Hunt. Oh, Hunt is the easy one. Yeah, go with yes. him. Yeah, yeah. Yep. James Connor or David Montgomery? Standard scoring. Oh, James Connor. I'm good with that. Is Chase Edmonds droppable? I have Barkley. Well, <laughs> do you? James Robinson, Aaron Jones, and AJ Dillon. I think Edmonds is droppable. Yes. This is actually pretty substantial news that Jay, that yeah. Saquon Barkley. Like, maybe we should pause for five seconds and acknowledge. I mean, uh, yeah, because it was one of those ones where, like, I don't know the way he got tackled. I don't. I'm not a doctor, but like, you often see guys when they go down like that. It looked like he got like kind of scrunched, scrunched up with the guy landing on top of him, and like that feels like it could be a uh, you know one of these one of those guys called collarbone 
clavicle. Oh god, that would be that's terrible. always the concern when you see a guy go down like that. So that would be terrible. Hopefully that's not it, but yeah, that's uh it's a concerning injury for sure. And I mean, there's nothing to like about that this offense if he's out. Like Gary Brightwell will be worth adding on waivers, but Saquon Barkley has been the the entire engine of this offense. This game is so confusing. I can't tell if the Packers are just bad or if the Giants might actually be decent or a combination of both. I don't get it. I just don't. I get, I, the, the Packers are not bad. I'm sure they're going to win, but their defense is very disappointing this year. I mean, it was supposed to be an elite defense. They're getting no pressure today. Their run defense has been pretty spotty this year. And their offense doesn't really have any big playmakers. No. Like. They've got decent players. They've got guys who are decent with the ball in their hands, but like they don't have, they haven't been able to hit on big plays yet. It's been, it's like every drive, even when they're going well, it feels like every drive is a lot of seven yards, eight yards. Like they're, they're, they got to score on 10 drive, 10 play drives. It's, it's been tough. Six catches for 90 yards for Randall Cobb today. Maybe less Randall Cobb. I I mean, I know he's been good today, but (laughs) Randall Cobb has 10 targets. That's all you need to know about the Packers right now. Well, going in, uh, here's a deep shot, uh, incomplete, two minutes ago, sorry. But going into the game, uh, they were, um, no, going into week four. You know what, I'll check right now. Going into week four, they averaged the fewest air yards per pass attempt in the mm-hmm. end. Uh, and it's, it was like downfield. that in the first half of this one, at least. Oh, yeah, they threw the ball downfield a lot in week four, but not today. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's a problem. They have no explosion. And Christian they're, Watson got hurt today too, by the way. They're running the ball effectively too, and they're just not doing it. Like I took AJ Dillon over 53 and a half rushing yards. He has five carries for 30. The lack of AJ Dillon in this game has been weird. Yeah. Why yeah. is he not? Why are they not running him more? I don't get it at all. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't want Leonard Williams offense. for the Giants. It's yeah, this is this is all weird. Makes no sense. Yeah. Well, their defense has been a real letdown today. I mean, they should not be giving up 20 points and two touchdown drives, two long touchdown drives to the Giants. All right. Let's get back to the questions here. Uh, Raheem Mostert or Antonio? Oh, bro, how would I forget Brian Robinson? It's it's noon, so we're going to reset after this question, talk about some of the headlines here, and welcome you all to the show. Raheem Mostert or Antonio Gibson, RB2? Uh, Antonio Gibson's another guy I'm starting David Montgomery over. Uh, I have a league where I've got Daryl Henderson and Antonio Gibson. I'm starting David Montgomery over both of them. Um, and I would start Raheem Mostert over Antonio Gibson as well. Same. Yeah, I have Mostert one spot higher, but Gibson is more of a low-end flex, whereas he's been you know, a middling to low-end RB2 for most of the season. So mm-hmm. you downgrade him with Brian Robinson active. I think I'd start Montgomery over Mostert, though. I don't Same. know if you said yep. that. That one would be really close. I do have Montgomery just ahead of Mostert. Uh, Yeah, I'd go Montgomery, Mostert, Gibson. I think that's where we're at here. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. It is noon. If you're watching some London football, please don't spoil it for me because... Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Get out of bounds. Thank you. (laughs) Uh, Because, uh, yeah, I'm uh, like a little behind here. But uh, I'm Adam with Chris and Frank. We're answering your questions for the next hour. We're helping you set your lineup, some of the headlines. I'm going to write down these headlines so I don't forget. All right, we got David Montgomery is playing... Amonra St. Brown is playing. Isaiah McKenzie is not playing. And uh, Brian Robinson is playing. So let's go through those four major headlines. Talk about where we're ranking these guys. Frank Stanfield, David Montgomery this week. What are we doing? David Montgomery I have as a high-end flex option. I, I've dropped him down a few spots. Chris has kind of scared me off a little bit. But RB28 is where I've settled on David Montgomery. I would start Singletary over him, Connor. Uh, Najee Harris, Brees Hall, and then I have Khalil Herbert a little bit lower. So I am ranking Montgomery ahead of Khalil Herbert. I think it's something like a 60-40 split, assuming that David Mm -hmm. Montgomery is healthy, but not really excited to start either one. All right, Chris, Amonra St. Brown, where you got him ranked? Uh, Amonra St. Brown is wide receiver 11 for me for the week. Um, So I'm starting him. That's I think he's earned the benefit of the doubt. Has to be must start RBS has got to be ARSB, right? This is the guy I think who said Jay Willie for Jamal Williams. So <laughs> he's got he's got a, his own little language for uh, just alliance. Uh yeah, I mean, yeah. It, how about this? James Connor or Monra St. Brown? I mean it's a Monra. Yeah, it's a Monra. Yeah. Here's another one. St. Brown, Godwin, Marquise Brown. Right, this is tougher. Half PPR, pick two. I I would sit Amonra there, but I, I have him a little bit lower. 
this week. I have my wide receiver 20, so Brown and, and Godwin are, are both top 20 guys for me. Yeah, I think I have the two Browns ahead of Godwin, just barely. Okay. Uh, Isaiah McKenzie out. <clears throat> Frank, I think you like Gabe Davis more than Chris does. You have the first word for Gabe Davis. I still have him ranked as a wide receiver three. He's right around wide receiver 30 overall for this week, but it just would not surprise me if it's a big week for Gabe Davis. I know that they the Bills are big favorites in this game, so they might not be pushed, but they have a huge implied team total as they normally do. There's lots of targets out. McKenzie is out. Dawson Knox is out. So if it doesn't happen now for Gabe Davis, when will it happen? He's a solid wide receiver three. And if you're desperate, if you need a flex or a cheap play in DFS, Khalil Shakir, I actually think is a legitimately good player. His college numbers are very good. He tested well. I think they like him as well. Um, but yeah, I, I have uh, Shakir as like a desperation, cheap DFS play if you need one. Adam, you'll see this in about 25 minutes with Saquon Barkley. Yeah, I saw it on my phone. <laughs> uh, Alvin Kamara is playing today, Chris. How about this, Josh Jacobs or Alvin Kamara? Oh, I would go with uh, Alvin Kamara, but I'm sure I'm in something of a minority on that one. No, I would go with Kamara too. I think you're higher on Kamara than most people. You have him six. Frank, where do you have Kamara? I have him 12th, and that's still a few spots higher than Jacobs. The role for Jacobs was awesome last week. It was a career game for him. I do worry that the Raiders could be playing from behind against the Kansas City Chiefs, and we don't see that massive workload from Jacobs once again. So, uh, And Hunter Renfro is back, and it's worth noting that you know his big catches came without Hunter Renfro, so his big catch games. So you know we'll see if that has any impact on Josh Jacobs. Um, all right. That's about, oh, Brian Robinson. If you want to talk about Brian Robinson, well, after this question, we need a flex Garrett Wilson, Tyler Boyd, Zay Jones, or Rashad Penny. It's a PPR flex. I think I would go with Rashad Penny there. I would go with Penny too. Kind of thinking about Garrett Wilson, just cause it's PPR. Just don't really know once again, what the distribution of targets will be for the jets. Last week, early in the game, it was Elijah Moore. And then later on in the game, it was Corey Davis. Not really much Garrett Wilson going on. I think he's the most talented of the three, but yeah, he's kind of hard to figure out right now. So I would go yeah. with Penny. All three of those guys were within, I think, were like right around 80% route participation. They had four to six targets, all three of them. So it was not ideal in terms of usage. All right, Khalil Herbert or Mike. Uh, it's got to be, yeah. You're going to got to sit Khalil Herbert. Mike Williams is the answer there. Um, oh, now we got to talk about Brian Robinson, guys. Do you think he's a must have right now? I mean, the, the role might not be great. Um, he's about 80% rostered. There's no way you can start Brian Robinson, but Chris, do you have to at least check all your leagues and make sure he's rostered? Um, I think it depends on what other guys are out there. I, I don't think the upside for Brian Robinson is so high that you're going to kick yourself if he, if he's not on your roster, but it's a running back who's going to get touches. So yeah, he should probably be rostered in all leagues. Please don't spoil anything that happens here unless they turn it over and then you can tell me and I'll turn it off. So I don't uh, <laughs> flip out or anything. Um, oh, you uh, are like, I guess emotionally invested in this. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, man. Uh, how about uh, Irv Smith or Evan Ingram? People might need tight ends. We got no Dawson Knox this week. Logan Thomas also out this week. Irv Smith or Evan Ingram? I have Irv Smith ranked higher. Same. But they're back-to-back. -back. It's uh, I don't really love either one. I'd be kind of interested to just take a flyer on Taysom Hill over both. Gallup, Reynolds, or Pickens? I would go with Pickens there, which... Is risky, yeah. but he looked pretty good with Pickett last week. So. They're all risky. <laughs> That's I mean, even Deontay Johnson. I I know Chris probably has Deontay ranked higher, uh, but I have him more of like a middling wide receiver three. I'm I'm pretty worried about Deontay Johnson. I'm worried, I guess, about Deontay Johnson, but I just I don't know that all that dude does is get thirty percent of his team's targets every single week, no matter who the quarterback is, and we're going on like four seasons of that. So at some point, we probably just need to acknowledge that that's who he is. Um, but I think I would go Reynolds here. Okay. Uh, how about Jamal Williams, Devin Singletary, or Miles Sanders? We need two. I'm sitting Miles Sanders here. I'm a little worried about how high I have Devin Singletary. He was RB17 for me, um, and that was 
it was higher when I did the projections. I moved him down manually from there. So that's uh, it's a I little mean, concerning. But the Paris. usage the last two weeks, when the games have actually been competitive, have been has been really promising. It's it was what it was last season when he was a must start guy down the stretch. No, because so. he's still getting like nine, ten carries, right? Right, I mean, but he's been getting a bunch of targets. He's been playing like eighty percent of the snaps. Yeah, and that's that's the biggest thing is that like if he's splitting work at all. He's not worth using. No running back in Buffalo is yeah. worth yeah, using yeah. if they're splitting work. I'm still going to go Sanders. I'm going to go Jamal Williams and Sanders. I mean, I love the matchup. For the Cardinals have one of the worst defenses in football. So the Steelers stink too. But I see your point. I mean, I, I look, I wasn't thrilled having Singletary earlier this season on my team. Now I'm very happy to have him. I'm plugging him in for Jonathan Taylor. And I, you know, a couple weeks ago, that would have felt terrible. Now yeah. it feels like, hey, I, I got, I, you know, fortunate here. How about you, Frank? Who are your three? Who are your two? I would go with Williams and Sanders. And you guys could tell me if I'm overthinking it, but I feel like Singletary was relied on so much in those games because they were so competitive, right? Like they had no one else yeah. to throw the ball to. And I just don't know how competitive this game is going to be. That's that's, that's the big concern. Game. Is like, if they have a two or three run the ball more, he'd probably run the ball more if that were the case. But if they have a two or three touchdown lead in the second half, why wouldn't they just go with Zach Moss or yeah. James Cook, you know? Yeah, they've been very happy to go away from him. But not, I don't think that's because of him as much as it is the situations that they've been in. But the situation this week might lead them to having that luxury. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. They are winning. I cannot believe they are winning. I cannot believe it. We have three straight Josh Reynolds questions Josh Reynolds, Jacoby Myers, or Corey Davis, PPR. I would go with Corey Davis there. I would go with Josh Reynolds, I think. Yeah, there is massive downside with Josh Reynolds. Not to say that he's not the answer to this question, but just just to put it in perspective, I mean, Josh Reynolds is usually not a good fantasy option. No. If Theo was, St. Brown was out. Um, he's also at New England today. It's not going to be easy, you wouldn't think. They don't have a great defense, but it's not going to be easy. I think I would go Corey Davis, too. Uh, how about this one? Josh Reynolds. So we had one vote for Reynolds, two for Davis. Josh Reynolds, Tyler Algier, Zay Jones, and DJ Moore. We need two. I have an Algier question, huh? I would go DJ Moore and Algier. Yep. Okay. Josh Reynolds or Zay Jones? I, th I think they're kind of similar. They're the second or third pass catcher on their respective teams. I guess you can go with Reynolds, but yeah, same guy. Okay. Here's a here's one that really grinds my gears. Uh, I have Josh Allen, Hollywood Brown, or Gabe Davis. I'm just not like it's don't stack. Stack if you want to the best player is a stack, then stack. Yeah. But Hollywood Brown, you gotta go Hollywood Brown here. And I say that, of course, I could be wrong, but the answer should not be because of Josh Allen. It, it's irrelevant to me. It's a it's a I always think of stacks like a tiebreaker. It's it's the same with like my opponent has this guy and I have this guy. Like no, that you I can consider that. that stuff, I guess, in a tiebreaker, but it's got to be a really, really close tie. <laughs> and generally speaking, they aren't that close. Uh okay. How about Tannehill or Teddy Bridgewater? I believe that I have is, Teddy ranked higher. That is a fair question. And Boy, Washington's so bad. <laughs> I have Tannehill one spot higher. I have both ahead of Stafford, by the way. I, I legitimately have a league where I'm I'm starting Tannehill over Matthew Stafford. I have faith in Sean McVay to figure things out, but I, I don't love it this week against that pass rush. They just I, I think like back. things could change when Van Jefferson's healthy, which is a tough sign for them if that's what they're waiting for, but they just don't have anybody who can make anything happen down the field. Like yeah. Tyler Higby is getting so many targets that are just like four yards down the field and there's nothing coming from them. Cookie over cream. I agree. Wilson or DJ Moore and Brandon Ayuk or Robert Woods. Ridiculous. <laughs> if that's Jeff Wilson, I'll take him. If it's Garrett Wilson, uh, I'd take him anyway. Uh, I think I would go with DJ Moore over Garrett Wilson, but it's very well. that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. And, I mean, and but I would take Jeff over DJ, right? I would take Woods over Ayuk. Me too. I, I would take. I'm I'm like mildly excited about Robert Woods. Like I feel like you should never be excited about any Titans pass catcher. But it's 
He's the it's only weird. guy left. It's like and he's, he's, like he's averaging like eight and a half yards per target. He hasn't been terrible. I was surprised. Brian Tannehill's actually at like 7.6 yards per target or something, yards per attempt. Um, hmm. Not bad. So I, I do think there's still room. Like Woods is now, you know, 12 months or 11 months away removed from his injury. So I do think he'll be better moving forward. Yeah, and he's rostered in almost every league, so I can't tell you to go out and get Robert Woods. You've already done that, people. Good job. Um, and uh, the uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Washington gives up the third most fantasy points to wide receivers, so that's why that game. I mean, that game is just two defenses that have been really bad, except for the Titans' run defense uh, and the Washington run. The run run defense has been okay. Pass defense is terrible. So hopefully, we get some scoring there. Brees Hall, Ramondre Stevenson. And Drake London, we need a running back and a flex. Ooh, I'm sitting Drake London. I would go with Ramondre. Yeah, I would sit London as well. I have a bit of a theory about Drake London. I want to bounce off of you guys. And I don't know how I end up feeling about him, but they've thrown the ball about 20 times per game each of the last two games. They've barely thrown the ball all year. They've been within four points. They've won or lost by four or fewer points in every game. I think they're going to lose by two scores, uh, more than 10 points. And you're going to see more pass volume and you've got no Kyle Pitts. I feel like seven, seven for 70 is very much within the realm of possibility for London. Um, so I kind of like him. Yeah. I don't know if no, I like it's him. Definitely within the realm of possibility. Um, I just, I don't know. I, it it kind of depends on like, is Drake London going to take on more of the downfield stuff that Kyle Pitts has been getting? Because I think that's part of the issue for Kyle Pitts is he's got like 350 air yards through four games or something like that. I think he's among the, the leaders in tight end air yards. It's just they haven't been connecting on them. And if Drake London's going to have to be that over top guy, you know, is the is the same thing that's happening to Pitts going to happen to him? I think that's possible. Okay. He, he could have a 40% target share today. I mean, oh, that's no Kyle Pitts. But I also he's got a 34 percent target share for the season or something like that. Yeah, like, wow! Well. I also think he could see more of the defensive attention. So it's yeah, it's kind of like a push and pull. It's like I think he'll see more volume, but probably more defensive attention as well. So yeah, Drake London has a 34 percent target share for the season. Yeah, that's massive. A 56 percent catch rate. Uh, how about this one, Brees Hall or Devin Singletary? See how much I've you like Singletary. Devin Singletary. Singletary, how about you? I have Hall a few spots higher. All right, I'm gonna go Singletary as well. Gerald Everett or Juju? Oh, interesting. I would just go with Gerald Everett. Same. Yep. Juju suffering the injury on sa- Saturday. It, the, the midweek injuries are always a concern. I would try to avoid him if I can. And yeah. it just doesn't seem likely to score a touchdown. He's got one green zone target, I think, all year. It's almost all Kelsey down there or Clyde. McKissick, Robinson, or Jamal. Not, I don't think you're going to do Agnew with Zay Jones back, but McKissick or Robinson, who are you going with? I'm going with McKissick. Yikes. Yeah. I. How can you start Robinson right now? I mean, it's the squeaky wheel thing, but like, no. Haven't we been trying to talk ourselves into that the past <laughs> couple of weeks, too? It's Yeah, the, the problem is he has a squeaky wheel or two of them. Like, <laughs> the guy just can't get open. It's yeah. like, they're, I think the way they're using him is probably the only way you can really use him at this point where he just, the end zone. all he, yeah, all he can do is catch contested balls. He can't get separation. So you just kind of have to give him those one on one opportunities in the end zone. Yeah. All right. How about. Uh, we need to sit one of these guys, St. Brown, Cook, Kirk, or Damian Pierce in full PPR. I think I'm sitting Pierce. I would sit Cooks. Yeah, I'm, I am sitting a Texan, and I don't want to choose. So, <laughs> Cameron, you can choose either Cooks or, or Pierce. See who you like better, Frank or Chris. You know, Adam, they're paying you. All right, all right, all right. I'll sit Cooks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm actually volunteering. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Oh, okay. It's an internship for me. Waddle, Mike Williams, or Corey Davis? I need. You're going to get that college standard. credit someday, Adam. <laughs> Waddle, Mike Williams, or Corey Davis? You got to sit Davis, right? You're sitting Davis. Yeah, that's easy. Davis. All right. Let's go to Cooks, Dobbins, Davis, Thielen, Deontay Johnson. We need to start two of these guys. Who's it going to be? I'm going to go with Gabe Davis there, I'm going to guess. But I actually have no idea. I don't know which, which other Davis could it be. Corey Davis. Corey Davis. Oh, uh, okay. I would go Dobbins and Cooks regardless of what Davis it is. Um, 
I think I would go Deontay over Dobbins. All right. Chris Olave or Amonra St. Brown or Mike Williams? Just one. Amonra. Man, I think I have – yeah, I have Chris Olave ranked the highest. Devontae Smith or Amari Cooper? The all-frustrating team, the two captains. They get to go out for the coin toss. Devontae uh, Smith or Amari Cooper? Yeah, you're getting 100 yards or 15 yards from both of them based on how the season's gone so far. I believe I have Amari Cooper ranked higher. I, I have Devontae Smith one spot oh, higher. I have Devontae Smith ranked higher. Devontae, all right, Devontae Smith is. I would also go with Devontae Smith. Uh, and I, I don't have a rhyme or reason for why either one of those guys would have a good game. You know, it, that's the frustrating thing. But um, Adam, haven't you cited stats about how the Cardinals yeah. struggle against number two wide receivers? Yes, yes. Yeah. But, you know, against the Lions, they, they actually use their best cornerback on Devontae Smith. So not to say that he's the number one, but maybe you take your top corner and put him on Smith and then put double coverage or something like that on A.J. Brown. So I, you know, I don't know. Byron Murphy is a guy who tends to shadow. He might be more likely to shadow Smith than Brown. I, I couldn't tell you. But uh, Mostert or Zay Jones, and then which DST do you like? The Chargers against the Browns or the Rams against the Cowboys? Oh, I, I think I'd go with Mostert. I would go with Mostert, checking defense rankings, and I would go with the Rams. I would. I think that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I, my stomach is churning right now. You can still have the two minute warning, or are they back? Uh, yeah, I think there's a toothbrush commercial going on right now. Oh. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really nervous right now. Devontae Smith or Curtis Samuel? Who do you got? Uh, Curtis Samuel. I go Devontae. You know who I like this week that we haven't got one question about, not that I've seen. I like Terry McLaurin this week. I'm going to check his start percentage just as of right now. It's, of course, subject to change. So that was one my wife has to choose between uh, Terry McLaurin and DJ Moore. And I told her DJ Moore, but I also told her, like, (laughs) that's just me. But if you want to go with the projections, which say McLaurin, that's fine, too. Tell, if she watching right now, go no. with Terry McLaurin. I'll uh, hold on. Let me let me. Adam, <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty bullish on uh, McLaurin. She might have left already. <laughs> I have a wide receiver 22 this week, McLaurin. So text her, Chris. There's a lot to like there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um, as in, let's go, Terry McLaurin. Am I on the? Yeah, I already did that one. Uh, Chris Olave. Oh, I'm not reading that one Where again. I did that one. I'm on our same brand. And Chris and Frank says Olave, Zach Wilson, Derek Carr, or Kirk Cousins. Carr. Derek Carr. Imagine saying Zach Wilson there. <laughs> I not right. not imagine. Actually, I do have Kirk Cousins one spot higher. Sorry. He might get there eventually. Cousins and Carr are oh, yeah. the same guy. It's, it's yeah, it's the Spider-Man meme. Yeah. Uh, I know about that because I went to Comic Con. Pick two. Uh, Curtis Samuel, Pickens, Amanda St. Brown, Devontae Smith. Uh, I would guess. Frank's going to say St. Brown and Smith. That is, I will say Samuel and St. Brown. Speaking of the Spider-Man meme, I saw at Comic-Con a button-down shirt with just a bunch of the Spider-Man memes all over it, and my first thought was Chris. That, that, that's pretty great. I would, <laughs> I would rock that. My, my friend, I want to tell you who my friend dressed up as. I don't remember, so I have to check my text messages. I've never heard of this character before. But we went to see a panel, and she was sitting in there. I was meeting her and some other people. And I couldn't find her. And she was four seats away from me with nobody in between us. And I could not recognize her because she was in a costume. Uh, and, of course, I can't find the stupid text message. But you probably – oh, it was um, it was a green costume. Huntress Wizard from Adventure Time. Do you know who that is? No, I've watched Adventure Time, but I don't know if I know that one. Okay, well, it was a very good costume, and people were taking pictures. It was fun, man. Like people just kind of being themselves is cool. All right, or actually being someone else, even cooler. I like being themselves too. Yeah, let's go this one. Cousins, Golf, or Wentz from Lindsay. I'll take Cousins. Yeah, Cousins. Yeah. Uh, Herbert, Gibson, or Algier. Ugh. Um, None, but Algier. If I have to choose one, it's Gibson. 
This is the the all jeer team, you know? All jeer. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dobbins, Jeff Wilson, Deontay. We got a lot of options here. We need two running backs and a flex, guys. Who are we going with? Well, the running backs are easy. Dobbins and Wilson. So now we need a half PPR flex. Wilson, pick two. Running back and flex. Uh, let's go with Deontay, Garrett Wilson, DJ Moore. I will take Deontay there, even though I'm kind of worried. Okay. Don yeah, Deontay for me as well. Sorry, I was texting my wife your advice. Oh, cool. <laughs> All jeer, boo, Herbert, Penny, or Edmonds. Who do we start? Penny. Correct. Yeah. Deontay Johnson or Kareem Hunt, half PPR. Ooh, tough one. Uh, I, I would go with Hunt, but I'm much lower on Deontay. Deontay, let's go. It's going to shock the world. I would go with Hunt also. The Bills secondary is really beat up right now. Poyer missing another game. Like they, are, but but I just think they're going to be all over Kenny Pickett. I talked to you about this earlier in the week, Chris. I think it was on Thursday. I could just see this game being, you know, Pickett gets sacked seven times, mm -hmm. throws for eighty-four yards. Just one of those disasters, basically. Yep. No, the 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 comp I made was. Uh... <laughs> So, <laughs> I know sorry. which play you're talking about. I thought they almost. I thought uh, they intercepted it. I couldn't follow the screen. All yeah, right, the, the comp now. would be the Zach Wilson against the Patriots last year. Yeah, or God forbid, game. Justin Fields at the Browns. That was sure, a yeah. million times worse. Yeah, so uh, like that. That's all obviously the concern. I think. Kamara, Jacobs, Jeff Wilson, and Kareem Hunt. Give me two. Kamara, Jacobs, Jeff Wilson, Kareem Hunt. Kamara and Jacobs. Correct. Yeah. JK. Give us a like, everybody. Give us a like. Who are our starters? Uh, or who are we starting? Brees Hall or J.K. Dobbins? Hall. Oh. I have Dobbins. Break the tie, Adam. Come on, baby. Hold on. It's fourth down and two for me. Let's go. Get off the field. Get him. Get him. <laughs> yes! Holy God, I cannot believe this is happening. Don't blow you're, this game. Four and one New York Giants. Unbelievable. Did they win yet? I mean, uh, yeah, I it's over. It's over. They won. I, I think they they could technically get the ball back with like. Oh, okay, okay. It's not ten over. seconds left or something. Okay. My dad is a diehard Packers fan, and he texted me this: Why didn't the Packers run the ball? Dumb bleep. I'll leave it to your imagination. <laughs> All right. I, I texted my wife. Adam wants me to tell you to start Terry McLaurin. She says, "LOL, I will." All I right. Responded. You can get mad at him. Oh, and that was such pass interference, too, if that ball didn't get deflected. All right, come on. Don't screw it up, Giants. Don't screw it up. Uh, with Logan Thomas out, would you go Taysom Hill or Cade Otten? Uh, I, would Taysom take Taysom, I would take Taysom Hill, but Cade Otten, if you need a cheap tight end in, in DFS, he is the minimum price. So, Does Taysom Hill have – how many targets does he have this year? Like four? He just does, does not catch any passes. High. But then again, with Landry out, maybe he'll catch pass. He just – he doesn't really <laughs> – He has one target. Okay, he has one target. So you need him to, to score. He has 12 him. carries, one target, and two touchdowns. Um. All right, let's – what do we got here? He is the definition of a touchdown or bust tight end. Yeah, and it's a rushing touchdown. That's the weird thing. Kittle or Everett and Ayuka or Renfro? Uh, uh, Kittle. Kittle and – I probably have Renfro ahead. I'm not so 100% too. sure on that. Both of those are really close, actually. Yep, I have Renfro three spots ahead. Same, yep. Let's go okay. Renfro there. Uh, we got to sit one. Tough calls here. Kamara, James Robinson, Josh Jacobs, Jeez. Joe Mixon, CD Lamb, Debo Samuel, Amara St. Brown. My goodness, we have to sit one. Good team. I, mm. I'm gonna sit Josh Jacobs, but not. Uh, but honestly, the only one I would I would not sit Mixon or Lamb, and that's the only ones I'd say. No way would I sit those guys. I would sit Robinson. I would sit either Jacobs or Amon Ross St. Brown. So you do the the punter in the back of the end zone thing here, right? Not. I don't know. Not in a seven point game. How much time is left? Uh, it's gonna be about twelve seconds between the game clock and the play clock oh god i don't know because then you give them a chance to win yeah why did they take a knee why didn't they run no i think you i think you do the punter just scrambles 
around, wastes as much time as he can, and then goes out of the back of the end zone. I think you got to. Uh, Why did they stop the clock? Well, I have no idea. I have no idea what you're talking about because for me, it's <laughs> third down with a minute left. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Jeff Wilson, Ramondre Stevenson, James Connor, sit one. I am sitting James Connor. I'm sitting Stevenson. Uh, actually, Stevenson versus Wilson is close. Let me see. I'm sitting Wilson. It's a good point you make about that, Chris. And then you, then you obviously a bunch better field position. Well, no, because you have to punt. I don't know. Uh, I need no, you have better field position coming off the safety punt than you do the the punt yeah. out of the back of the end zone. Yeah, yeah. I think you, that's. I think it's an easy call. Right, but you, but you're you know you can't lose unless they go for two if you just punt. Uh, I need two in standard. Olave, James Robinson, Amonra St. Brown, David Montgomery. I would take Robinson and Olave. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I would go Olave and Amonra St. Brown. Pierce, ETN, or Khalil Herbert? Who are we flexing here? Pierce. Mm, Pierce, yeah. Yep, yep. Kamara or Jamal Williams? Flex. Ooh. I have Jamal Williams one spot higher. I have Camara several spots higher. Break the tie, Adam. <laughs> Jamal Williams for me. I just think he's such a talented running back, one of the better ones in the NFL, you know? Yeah, uh, very, very explosive. <laughs> was it last week or the week before where you said he's the worst running back in the NFL? I think it was two weeks ago. I don't know if I meant that he's – I don't think he's the worst running back, but I think he's very much a running back. That's he, is, you know? he is the replacement level. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All like right. that fifty-one yard run he had two weeks ago was or was that last, last week? week? Well, it was one high. of the more shocking things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know. It's not as shocking as if the Giants beat the Packers. I, I didn't know he could run that far. Yeah, I he didn't know it was has, allowed. He truly never has in an NFL game. All right, what are we doing here? RB B Lister PPR. That's good. Hunt, Penny, Mostert, Etn, or Brian Robinson. I easy, would go. Easy. Oh, not you guys. I would go Kareem Hunt. Yeah, I have Hunt ahead of Penny. Yeah, it's one of the first. Very, very close. Yeah. I traded Kareem Hunt for Kyle Pitts. Who has A plus. Long... Really? I I would do it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's an A plus, but. I don't know if it's an A plus, but it's, I, I would definitely do it. Yep, there you go. I think it's like a B minus, but. Uh, I would okay. say do it. Uh, yeah, so who has the best long long term outlook? Like, I think both have really high upsides, but Hunt needs a specific thing to happen to have that upside. Whereas Kyle Pitts, like, it's just can they get going, right? Yeah. Right. It's a good trade. It's your what you're giving up is a potential league winner if Nick Chubb gets hurt. But you're getting a potential league winner. I'm not sure I feel that way about Pitts. Quite honestly, I, I still do. Like, I'm I'm gonna wait until it's been more than three days since his 22nd birthday. It's not a him. It's just the setup is just. Not good. If they start, you know, being less competitive and have to throw more, that would be good. Yeah. Um, maybe they will. But let's give let's give Arthur Smith a little credit. I mean, we feel like they've been such a bad team on paper. Well, no, they've they're been they're like I think second in running DVOA right now. I think they're I think they grade out as the best run blocking uh, team in football per yeah. from PFF. So like, yeah, it's working. You it's know, working. you can't. Man, this would be. Well, stop, just stop, stop, stop. Just let me, just let me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, um, Olave, McLaurin, or Jeff Wilson? Who are we starting? Full PPR, Olave. I'm going Olave. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's reset a little bit here. As it is 12.30 and we are 30 minutes until kickoff here for the 1 o'clock Eastern games. We welcome you to Fantasy Football today. Please hit the like button if you not, have not done that already. I am Adam with Frank and Chris here on this Sunday. It is 11, it is 12.30, so it is clearly afternoon. It was also that when we started the show an hour ago. But um, we'll go so through some of the headlines here. I won't make these guys repeat it, but I'll just tell you, David Montgomery is playing. We are not really wanting to start him. You have to not like your option. I'm starting J.K. Dobbins over him, that kind of thing. Um, so we're not loving David Montgomery, but you definitely want to sit Khalil Herbert. Amon Ross St. Brown is basically a must start. He's around 12th, I think, for Frank. Could probably around there for, for Chris. So you could have better options, but start Amon Ross St. Brown. We love Chris Olave this week uh, with Jarvis Landry and Michael Thomas out. Isaiah McKenzie's out, so there's more hope, of course, for Gabe Davis. And um, 
doesn't make him a must start, but if you have him now, this should be the time, could be the time where he uh, goes, you know, goes off. Saquon Barkley hurt his shoulder but came back. Alvin Kamara is playing, and you should be playing him. You could have better options. You could have a guy like James Robinson, who Chris would not start over him, but I would start over him, and I think uh, Frank would as well, right? James Robinson over Kamara? Yes. Um, and then there's Brian Robinson. It's great that he's back. That is a terrific story. Missed the minimum of four games on short-term IR, but uh, not going to start him and pretty much not going to start a Washington Commanders running back. So with that said, let's read a question about a Washington Commanders running back. Would you start James Conner, Gibson, or Stevenson today? Ramondre Connor for me. Conner over Ramondre, Chris? Mm-hmm. Oh, and Frank, you said Stevenson. Yes. All right, pick one and half PPR, Amonra St. Brown, Garrett Wilson, Khalil Herbert, or J.K. Dobbins? Monra St. Brown for me. Correct. Yep. And I love the chat. Oh, uh, you broke your promise. You what? said you weren't going to answer Ryan Castro's comments. Oh, I did. I got confused. I got confused. I'm sorry about that. Half PPR, Josh Jacobs or Marquise Brown? Oh, geez. Um, I yeah. would go with Jacobs, but I, it's, it's close. Uh, half PPR. Come on. Oh, it's easier to just say Marquise Brown and PPR. <laughs> oh, I have to do some math in my head. Well, how about while you do that, Akers or Ayuk? I would go with Ayuk. I would go with Jacobs and half PPR. All right. And then Ayuk over Akers. Yeah. Hunt or Dobbins, Garrett Wilson or Jacoby Myers, 0.2 PPR. Dobbins and Garrett Wilson. Get his ass. Come on. Yeah, baby. We're four and one. Let's go. This is, uh, we, there, one of the teams in my, one of my leagues is four now, but he's like 11th out of 14 teams in points. And we, we bullied him into changing his, team named a hollow earth because we kept making fun of his hollow four no start that's what the giants are this is like the fake i mean like they're probably favored to make the playoffs at this point you got a pretty easy schedule the next week's baltimore and then they got a jacksonville second half of their schedules you know pretty easy and you know what else they have they have philadelphia on the road in week 18 which could be uh rest everybody situation for the Eagles. So, I mean, that could be a sneaky win there, actually. Um, all right, enough about them. Got to give their defense credit, though. I mean, they've been a very, pretty good defensive team this year. And yeah. Well-coached team, it seems. Makes a big difference. They'd be 0-5 with the previous regime. Jeff Wilson or Raheem Mostert? Jeff Wilson. Yep, Jeff Wilson. Yeah, I'm like, can't even catch my breath. Hawkinson or Goddard? Sanders or Godwin? Um, I would go Goddard and Sanders. I've got her just ahead of Hawkinson and uh, – Oh, it's non-PPR. Non-PPR Sanders over Godwin. Yeah. I couldn't make a found religion joke and go with Godwin and Goddard. So, yeah, Sanders in non-PPR there. Uh, please stop asking Jeff Wilson or Mostert. The answer is Jeff Wilson. Brees Hall or Brandon Cooks or four thumbtacks? Uh, Brees Hall. I will go with Cooks. All right. Algier, Rondell Moore, Michael Carter, Dalton Schultz. Oh, man. I will – I'll take Schultz there in full PPR. Hmm. I would go with – I think I would go with Algier. I'm asking Dave Richard why he doesn't come on the Sunday show anymore. How come he don't want me, we man? Him. We miss you. Maybe he'll come on for a little bit. He's probably on FFT right now. Uh, let's see. Rondale Moore, Russell Gage, Zeke, or Mooney. Has it gotten that bad for Zeke? I'm starting Zeke. Yeah, starting yeah, Zeke. Same. Russell Gage is, I guess, a little interesting if you were really stuck because Julio Jones is out, Gage is playing, but start Re- Zeke. Revenge game. Oh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Gar- oh, a lot of names here for Chris. A lot of, there's just a lot going on. We got a hashtag, which is great. We got the sirens. All right, run running back. Stevenson, okay, Fournette. Yep. Yes. One wide receiver. Thielen? Cooks. Cooks. Uh, Cooks, yeah. Yep. Two flex. Who do you got? Kittle, 
Stevenson. And Stevenson. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. These London games are legitimately killing our viewership because we always get more <laughs> when the game is over. So if you're just joining us, welcome. We got yeah. about 20 minutes left. That's Chris and Frank. I'm Adam. We're answering your questions. Please hit the like button. We would really appreciate that. We can recap the game if you want. I mean, uh, Barkley with a great game. Aaron Rodgers, this is his fourth straight games, game with right around 20 fantasy points. Um, really disappointing game for A.J. Dillon. Six carries for 34 yards. Yeah. Lazard caught his customary touchdown. What, do you have one catch? Two no, catches? No, four for 35 and a touchdown on eight targets. Uh, real quick, who's more appealing on the waiver wire? Darius Slayton, who had six catches for 79 yards, or Randall Cobb, who had seven for 99? Darius Slayton. Wow. I think that's the right answer. I mean, the Giants are just dealing with so many injuries. They need someone to mm -hmm. catch the ball. So. Yep. Yeah. Kadarius Tony has injuries in both of his hamstrings now. Um, yeah. I don't know if Wando Robinson's going to be able to play. So, yeah, I, 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 Cobb, th th there's no reason to think that this is like a new normal for Cobb. You know, this is one of those things where, like, I think things just happen sometimes. Where Slayton, you know, at least you can see how, you know, he has an increasing role. Um, by the way, with, with Tony, you can't drop him now anyway because the game got played, but. Actually, you might want to pick him up after waivers run because there's a chance he goes on IR. And that would be the best case scenario if you could just stash him in an IR spot because he, otherwise anybody – I should have been making more use of my IR spots. There was no reason why I shouldn't have had Van Jefferson and Gus Edwards. because Jameson what's the Williams. Well, he's already you know on all the IR team leagues that I'm in. Mm -hmm. But the other guys weren't until recently, and I don't know why. I just dropped the ball. It's just laziness. If a guy's on IR, pick him up. You can always drop him. I uh, have to disagree with this sentiment here from Christopher, but a lot of people would agree with that. Amonra St. Brown or Gabe Davis? Amonra. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, waste of an IR spot. It's an IR spot. There's no such thing. There aren't that <laughs> many guys on IR or you're wasting an IR spot. Yeah. Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, or Jeff Wilson, PPR. Is it true that if you don't use an IR spot, you lose it? <laughs> it feels that way. Um, Curtis Samuel for me. I would go with Jeff Wilson. And I would go with Terry McLaurin. Although Wilson feels like the safest. No, he doesn't actually. He caught zero passes last game. Let's pick three here. Who are we sitting? Big baby Glenn, Glenn <laughs> Davis. <laughs> I'm going to sit DJ Moore. I'm, I'm going to sit Glenn Davis and also Gabe Davis. <laughs> I love Glenn Davis back in the day. Uh, I would take Deontay Cooks and Gabe Davis. I love any professional athlete who looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> no context here, but 40-year-old virgin? Sure. I don't know if that he was, was That was the reference. That was the joke I made at him. Which joke? If you don't use it, you lose it. Oh, I don't remember that from 40-year-old virgin. <laughs> Give me the joke. Give me That's the, the joke. What was there in the... They're in the... the the sex ed class and Steve Carell asks, is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? <laughs> and she says, is that, is that a real question? <laughs> and he's just like, no, 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 it wasn't. No. <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, would you start Elijah Moore or Hunter Renfro? Oh, I would go Renfro in PPR. What happened to Romeo Dobbs today? Elijah Moore. I don't know what happened to Romeo Dobbs today. He got cobbed. He, he, yeah, he got Randall cobbed. And he's, I think that, you know, we get very excited about rookie wide receivers. And a lot of times they remind us that uh, it's tough for them to be consistent every week. I hope that doesn't happen with Chris Olave. I mean, uh, this is what Aaron Rodgers told us was going to happen too. Yeah, he did. You're right. You know, like if, if the matchups were there for Randall Cobb and they weren't for, for Romeo Dobbs, like Romeo Dobbs isn't, Devontae Adams, he doesn't demand targets. I don't think anybody on this team demands targets. And so I think it's always going to be inconsistent and frustrating from week to week because it's going to be based on coverages and matchups and and who's open. And none of these guys are going to get open consistently enough to, to demand targets every week. Okay, how about... All right, I'm going to go rapid fire here. Fournette or Miles Sanders? Fournette. Fournette. How about this one here? Standard scoring, MVS, Rashad White, or Mark Ingram? Oh, jeez. Boy. 
I'll take MVS. I would go with MVS, yeah. I would go with Rashad White. Drake London, Gabe Davis, Jeff Wilson, Ro- and J.K. Dobbins. Romeo Dobbins, I almost called them there. Uh, who are you guys flexing, PPR? Jeff Wilson. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I gotta read more about this and roll this Chapman thing, by the way. <laughs> I gotta get text about it. What a jerk. Amon St. Brown or Christian Kirk? Amon St. Brown. I would say Kirk. Break the tie, Adam. St. Brown. Okay. Idiot. Uh James Robin. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Giants win one game and this guy gets all yeah, uh, baby. That's for you. Rooting against the Giants for no good reason. I think look at this box score like it's gonna change. I I just I can't believe that the Packers <laughs> did not run the ball more. It just they yeah. ran so effectively. I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. I, yeah. Yeah. I root for the Jets, by the way, just so you know. I, I'm all about the Jets. Well, for also, what it's worth, I do dislike the Jets more than the Giants. I also root for the Dolphins. So today is actually a tough day for me. <laughs> James Robinson, Alvin Kamara, Jeff Wilson, Damian Pierce. Pick two. Okay. Let's go the first two. Robinson. Kamara and Robinson, yeah. Uh, I need a running back, a tight end, and a flex. Damian Pierce, Montgomery. All right, we're going Pierce. Pierce. Yep. And we need I'm a going tight Kittle end. over Everett. Same. I'm going Everett. Really? You're going Kittle over Everett? I'm going to give it one more week. All right. And then I'm the same round. Yep. Down. Yep. yep. And how about Dobbs is the best wide receiver on the Packers. It's not on him. I think you got to give Lazard a little bit of credit. I mean, Dobbs might be more talented, but... Lazard is, you know, is just more reliable for Rodgers, I think. And he scored a t- he scored a touchdown in three or four games, and he has a hundred yards in the other. So for fantasy purposes, I think it's this one. I got to lean Lazard. How about you guys? I, I do it's... lean Lazard, but it's like he's a wide receiver three for me still. Yeah, ranking them on a weekly basis, it's they're usually both in the thirty to thirty six range, and yeah. and Lazard is a few spots higher. I think. I think that Rodgers trusts him a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, but that Dobbs Dobbs is the more talented one. So it wouldn't surprise me if a month from now that's reversed. And Dobbs It wouldn't surprise me if Christian Watson was the number one guy a month from now. Yeah. You, you have know, to with an healthy. injury. So, yeah. yeah. He's had some trouble there. <laughs> I already named one of my teams, Oil of Olave, and it just made me laugh just looking at it. Um, what are you guys doing here? Cooks or Waddle? Waddle. Waddle. All right. How about Curtis Samuel or Brandon Cooks? Brandon Cooks. Cooks, yep. Amonra St. Brown or Hollywood St. Brown? I do have Amonra St. Brown two spots higher. I would take Amonra. Okay. Ramondre Stevenson, Amonra St. Brown, Jeff Wilson. How do you rank them? Uh, Amonra. Amonra, Amonra, Wilson. (laughs) I would go Wilson, Amonra, and Ramondre. Wow, you really like Jeff Wilson, huh? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't catch the ball very much. I saw this stat from uh, Davis Maddock, who does great work, and I can't find it right now. But basically, since Tyrion Davis Price got hurt, Jeff Wilson has every running back carry for the 49ers except for one. <laughs> he is the guy. Yeah. There it's is like no Damian, one else. Uh, Damian Pierce, all but three in the well, last few weeks. But that is, you know. That means he's got like 70, probably 60 to 70% of their total carries, right? No, because Debo actually hasn't been running the ball that much the last couple of weeks. That's true. He hasn't been, been running it effectively. I thought he still has. Not the last two weeks. You can double check on that. Uh, let's read. Okay, last more. week he only had two. The week before he had five. Uh, all right. Uh, St. Brown, Juju, Thielen, Garrett Wilson, Olave. Sit two. Juju for sure. And Wilson. Yeah. Juju and Wilson. E- e- correct. Najee Harris, Tyler Algier. Uh, bah, 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 bah. We need uh, we need some some work there. Uh, I would go Jeff Wilson, uh, Mike Evans, and Christian Kirk as the flex. Okay. I would go Najee, Jeff Wilson. No, nope, Najee, Kirk, and Evans. We need a sit one. Evans, Evans, St. Brown, Kirk, or Olave? Ooh. Oh, my. I think Olave is the lowest ranked for me. I would sit St. Brown. I think I'd sit Olave. 
Well, yeah. hold on, Mike. <laughs> Suck it, Frank. Curtis, <laughs> Curtis Samuel or Brandon? Oh, we did that one. Brandon Cooks. Yep. All right. Brees Hall or Devontae Smith? Ooh. I would take Brees. Yeah. How about, Aaron, how about Aaron Jones having kind of a disappointing year? Two massive games and three disappointments. I don't get it. I'm just surprised they're not using the running backs more in the passing game. Yeah. This was his first game with two catches. He's had three, 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 Man. three, and two catches this year. I have a theory. I think Aaron Rodgers wanted to throw the ball more in London. It's like an island primetime game. Not really primetime, but. I think he just kind of wanted to show out, and that's why they wanted they wound up passing more. That's the only thing I could think of. Like, why? I just I'm very frustrated because I have a lot well, of Jones and uh, by, by the end of the game, the Giants were down three cornerbacks. They went in the game without two of them, and then their best corner got hurt. So you should have been able to throw on them. The fact that they really couldn't throw on them is alarming. Uh, Damian Harris or Jeff Wilson? I believe I have Wilson ranked higher. Yep, Wilson for me. I don't know oh. why I said it that way. <laughs> I do have Harris one spot higher. Okay. I feel like I, I don't know what that was. I would go Harris. Yeah, I have Harris one spot higher. Sorry. I need two in full PPR. James Conner, Christian McCaffrey, Kareem Hunt. Who are you going with? I'm going with, oh, okay. Definitely McCaffrey, Conner, and Hunt. I I'm starting going- there. That's easy for me. Conner over Hunt. I don't think it's easy. They're both in the flex discussion, but I do have Conner a few spots higher. All right, I'm going to go with Kareem Hunt. I think I just really don't like James Conner. Um, I hate her. <laughs> all right, your lineup should be set by now. Let's have fun. Saquon Barkley or 1993 Emmett Smith? I guess 1993 Emmett Smith had yeah. a Yeah, I don't know the year. Game. Right, I can't correlate the year with the stats. Uh, let's see. Emmett well, Smith in his 1,500 prime. rushing yards, nine touchdowns. He was better in 94, 95. Yeah, I take Emmett Smith in his prime. But of course, he was running behind that line pretty good. Yeah, running back. 57 so catches, though. That's pretty good in 93. How many? 57 catches Ooh, for that, that is good, yeah. Damn. Pretty good year. Tyler Lockett or Rashad Penny in PPR? I mean, led the league in yards from scrimmage in 14 games. Pretty good. I would go Lockett. go, Emmett Smith. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go Lockett. Tyler Lockett. Mike Williams or Alvin Kamara? Alvin Kamara. Correct. Not even a hesitation. Gibson, Henderson, Palmer, Zay Jones, or McKissick? Gross. I'm going to go with Josh Palmer. I think I would go with Josh Palmer as well. I think so. It's between him and Gibson, but I'll take Palmer. I asked about Hollywood Brown and Gabe Davis because Brown is going up against one of the best corners and Davis has been playing like crap. No, I mean, I get it. Uh, I totally get it. I just expect a lot more targets, I think, for Brown. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's, this is not an e- – it's an easy one that I feel confident, you know, I, I'm going to say Hollywood, but it's certainly understandable to ask the question um, because the, the Cardinals offense really does scare me. They might just be outclassed. I did kind of facetiously pick them in an upset, but they might get their ass kicked. They're just not nearly as good as the Eagles. Curtis yeah. Samuel, Chris Olave, or Devin Singletary as a flex? Hmm. Oh, Lave. I think I have Singletary ranked highest of this trio. Yeah, I go Lave, but it's a good, good trio. Jamal Williams, Connor, or McLaurin? Um, James Connor for me. No, I have Williams ranked higher. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Jamal Williams. I have James Connor one spot higher than Jamal Williams. Let's check Let's our, our like situation here. How are we doing in likes? I'm going to guess like less than 300, which is going to grind my gears. We have 253. Come on. If everybody in here just hits like, we'll have 858. Well, we'll have a lot. It'll of be them. like 1,200 total. Well, some 1200. of them may have already hit like, you know? That's true. I, thanks for giving them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Rams or Jags? Rams. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I kind of like the Jags DST today. Feel it, Nick. Go for it. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah let's go Jags. Jags defense has been pretty good. Who, the Jags? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with the Jags. Look at this insulting question. Guardians in three or Guardians in three? 
Oh my gosh! What a chicken! What a chicken poo move by Aaron Un- Boone starting unacceptable. Their best starter in game one. Unacceptable here. Unfair. Guardians and six. It's five game series, right? Is it? Yes. Is it a best of five? Yeah, best of five. I can't keep up with that stuff anymore. <laughs> Adam, Adam, you want to go to game one? I think I'm really gonna go. I it's a Tuesday night. I have the live stream, and I've been abandoning my wife way too much lately to go to events. So I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pass, but you know I could be convinced. We'll see. Josh Palmer or no, Josh Reynolds? No, no. I, I think it's not. The I don't right want to fill in for you again. So it's no, you're not going to the game. game. <laughs> I'm I'm making an executive decision. Yeah, I would let Schneider do it by himself, but for my wife's sake, I'm gonna stay home. Uh, Actually, I do think Cian Ajad is gonna be on this Tuesday's live stream. So oh, you just do Dan Schneider and Cian, and, and let's go, Adam. Come I on. look forward to being two innings behind while I watch that. <laughs> uh, Gino, Tannehill, or Bridgewater? Did we answer this question? This is tough for me, actually. I think I'm going to go Palmer, actually. Yeah, I'm going Palmer over Reynolds with Amon Ross St. Brian active. Yeah, same. Yep. Gino, Tannehill, or Bridgewater? Uh, um, I would go Gino. Yeah, I would go Gino. How about Khalil Shakir or Josh Palmer? Palmer. Hips, don't, hips don't lie. Josh Palmer. <laughs> I would go Palmer, but... <laughs> Uh, I've got a feeling on Shakir too. How many? No, that's the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> yes, thank yeah. you, Chris. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, how about Brees Hall, J.K. Dobbins, or Jeff Wilson? Uh, Brees. Uh, no, Jeff Wilson. The... No, I would sit. Uh, Brees oh, sit one. I would sit Dobbins. Yeah, that's fair. Jamal. No, you know what? I'm going to sit Brees Hall here. I, you know what? You should sit Dobbins. Sit Dobbins. It makes more sense. But the Dolphins' run defense is nasty, and I just think the Ravens are going to score a lot more points than the Jets. So that's where I'm coming from, but I think it's bad advice, so don't listen to me. But on my team, I'm going to go with bad advice. Jamal Williams, James Conner, or Terry McLovin? Nicola, Williams. Uh, Williams. Williams. Uh, I have Conner one spot ahead of Williams. You have Conner... Ahead of Williams, I have. I, I just, we just, I just said that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yep. on the show. Yeah, <laughs> this one, the one that you're Olave watching. or Hollywood? Hollywood. I would go with. I think I have Olave a few spots higher. I will not have any Cardinals slander today. Hey, man, I'm rooting for them. If they win, and the Cowboys lose, yesterday. what's that? Who? Oh, the card. Yeah, I'm sorry. Those Cardinals did lose. I'm rooting for the Arizona Cardinals, though. Duvernay or George Pickens, non PPR. The first Duvernay question I I can recall seeing. I'm surprised by that. Me too. I yeah. Think. Uh, I, would I would go with Pickens. I would take Pickens, but they're in the same range, just outside my top forty. Yeah. Before you listen to me, just know that I definitely started Richie James in a league this week. So just keep that in mind. I was looking at some of my teams. Started well, it, was, it was ahead of Marquez Valdez scaling. So it was. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. I don't know if I said that, but I benched MBS for Richie James. Um, okay, Dobbins or Kareem Hunt? Oh, I think I have Dobbins ranked higher. Dobbins, yep. Oh, this is a good one. I honestly don't know how I feel about this. Fair or foul, sneakily add Equinemius St. Brown and trade him to the guy who keeps asking for Amonra St. Brown. Pulled this off with, <laughs> with tight end David Johnson a few years back. It was sweet. Uh, I would overturn it as a commissioner, but I am a I, very... I would as well, but... The peace commissioner. As, as we've learned over the last seven days, Adam and I are apparently the worst commissioners in, in fantasy yeah, football this. history. So my, a couple of years ago, we were doing a fantasy baseball salary cap draft. Someone threw out Vladimir Gutierrez, and someone thought it was Vlad Guerrero. Oh, and yes. That's like, really and- dumb, though. That's a different name entirely. That is very <laughs> different. I mean, so is Equinemius St. Brown. But you don't There's need a big I don't difference know if between Equinemius and Amonra. But, uh, I guess so. Think of, I, I, you know what? I'm going to say foul, but... If, if it didn't get overturned a few years ago with, with David Johnson. I mean, look, yeah, if your league allows it, yeah. like that, it would be, man, you might have to like keep your guard up next time you see that person. 
<laughs> St. Brown or Jeff Wilson? St. Brown. Frank says Jeff Wilson. Uh, half PPR, I'll go with the running back. Yep. Start Brandon Cooks or Jeff Wilson? Brandon Cooks. Frank says Jeff Wilson. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to read a couple more here. Mike Williams or Clyde edwards Lair. PPR. Mike Williams. Uh, correct. Christian Kirk or Mike Williams? Kirk. <sighs> ah, that's really close. I think I have Kirk ranked higher. Yes, I do. London or Cooks? Uh, Cooks. Cooks. Pick, t- pick two. Davis, Waddle, Kirk. Uh, oh, Waddle yeah. and Kirk. I don't, how do we, are we sure about Waddle? He's got one game with more than six targets, and he has Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Waddle and Kirk. Yes. Frank? Same. Giants or Packers today, guys? Boo. Oh, there's no way the Giants win. Yeah, I agree. I still don't believe it I'm happened. Completely over outclassed. All right. Well, I uh, want to thank everybody for joining us. Really appreciate it. Good luck today. Thanks to Chris and Frank. Thanks to Thomas for producing. We'll talk to you tonight. And uh, yeah, 8 o'clock-ish p.m. Eastern recap Sunday's action. Have a good one. See ya. Good luck. Let's go get a win.